Alright gang, it's been a while and I finally got my hands on a PS5. So did you if you're watching this video. So if you're like me and are planning to use Smart DS Proxy with PlayStation 5 or just apply a DNS setting to your console, it's not particularly hard, but once you know where to look, it's quite simple and easy. So in this video, I'll show you how to change your DNS settings on your PlayStation 5. But before we begin and change your DNS settings, there are important reasons why people would want to change their DNS settings or just change the DNS in general. Let's look at some of them. So changing your DNS server settings on your PS5 can make a huge difference, especially if your ISP internet service provider has a, you know, crappy servers that are unreliable. Especially when you're playing multiplayer games like I do, say Apex Legends, and the ping is really low, that could suck or cause lag in the middle of a game. That's why changing primary and secondary DNS servers can make a huge difference on your PlayStation 5. So another reason to change your DNS setting on your PlayStation 5 is to bypass geo restrictions on sites like HBO Max or Netflix US. Those are just restricted to America, so you can unlock those and watch it from outside of the United States from anywhere. So if you want to know which DNS setting is best for you, check out our previous video which we've done. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. With that out of the way, let's see how you can change your DNS settings on your PlayStation 5, shall we? Alright, turn on your PS5 and go to the home screen and then select the settings tab and then go to network settings. Now inside the network tab, go to set up internet connection tab. You'll see two options there, use Wi-Fi and LAN cable. Select the appropriate one depending on the type of connection you have. And then if you're already connected to the Wi-Fi, click on bring an advanced settings pop up and then select that. When you're inside the settings, set the IP address to automatic and the DHCP hostname to do not specify. At the end of DNS settings option, choose the manual one and it'll prompt you to enter the DNS manually. You cannot change the DNS settings by entering the appropriate DNS, just enter the primary and secondary DNS by clicking on the respective tabs. And use the DNS servers closest to your physical location. The list of IP addresses for our DNS services can be found at smartnessproxy.com slash servers. After you've done that, go to the MUT settings and set it to automatic. Keep the proxy server to do not use and then click on the test internet connection to test the speed. You can now see the updated internet connection speed when you use the console. So that's how you change your DNS settings on your shiny new PS5, but there is one last step that you need to do because smartdnsproxy.com is a private DNS service that just, you know, needs your IP address. So go check your IP address into our database by just going to the website. There are a few steps that you need to do, so just follow these steps as I tell you. You'll need to log into smartdnsproxy.com and go to your account section and then update your IP address so that our system could check your IP address and add your IP to our database. Then you'll be able to continue using our service. Remember, whenever your PS5 or PS4 router IP changes, our service will stop working for you and need to repeat the process all over again. Typically, if this happens, you'll see an error message on your PS5 while browsing. So that's pretty much it. That's how you change your DNS settings on your PlayStation 5. Speaking of which, I'll be probably making videos on how the streaming works on PlayStation 5 or little you know, tips and tricks that are quite useful for most PlayStation users like yourself. I'd love to know if you're keen for that, let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'm Bamzi, thanks for watching and if you're new here, click subscribe because that way you get notified every time we put a new video and it just comes into that little corner box and you're happy to see a new video and you know, spend five minutes getting to know new information. Awesome. See ya.